crafting is getting easier in New World. Well, sort of. Let me show you what I mean. So I was testing things on the PTR. I was actually looking to see how easy a crafting was now because the amount of perks that you're going to get that are good is being increased and all the bad perks are, well, you're less likely to find them, right? So I was just playing around with that. I also crafted one of these runestone stopwatches just to see what they did, right? So I headed over to the armory, the forge, whatever it is. And then in the screen, obviously they're not a timer shard. So I was like, well, we're not going to use it though. Like, where are we actually going to use these things? Well, you actually use them in the fabricate section of this, okay? And then if I click any of these, let's just say I click this uh, heavy breastplate and I change the materials to Asmodium. I was like, hmm, 573? to 583 now that's sort of what i would expect because i've not got the iron ring buff and i've not got the trade skill food so i wasn't expecting it to, to get to 600 i just don't have the right materials to do that i also don't have the jewelry right but look what i'm using here asmodium runic leather phoenix weave if i then change this to say a normal bit of the clothing so let's just say i do a normal oracalcum heavy breastplate and i change this to asmodium you'll notice that it's three less it's 570 to 583 so the stopwatch is actually buffing the amount of gear score that you get now somebody in one of my comments was like hey you should look into this and i was like it just looks like a timeless shard basically like you're going to get constitution that's it and i was like that's not that important but whilst i was researching this because i found this gear score discrepancy i came across slender mmo's video very useful channel generally gets the way before i do with all this kind of useful information so i do highly recommend you check him out i will try and leave a link in the description and you can see he's pretty much kitted out here but having listened to his video he doesn't have have the iron ring buff in the town because it's hard to get on the ptr and you can see quite clearly if he did it would be 598 to 600 basically making it so you're way more likely to get a legendary instead of having a one in six you will now have a one in three very important information here let's jump back in game and i'll show you how you make one of these so it's at the stone cutting table and it's right at the top fabricate now there's some really important things here yeah i'm slightly blocking out but it doesn't really matter one it's 500 azov two it's 500 umbral shards and three it's it's 10 runestone. That is pretty expensive. It's like half your as off, 500 umbul shards. If you've got thousands and thousands, not that much to you. But for somebody like me who isn't really doing a lot of the mutated dungeons at the minute, that's actually quite a lot. Obviously, I'm on the PTR here. I don't actually have this amount of umbul shards, you know. I think in the game at the minute, I've got maybe like 15,000. But obviously, to make your runestone, you still need your obsidian voidstone and all that kind of stuff. You can still only craft 10 a day. So you're only going to make one of these a day, basically, unless you buy them. And these, when you do create them, are buying and don't pick up so even though you are going to be able to craft gear score 598 to gear score 600 and it is probably going to be worth it it's quite expensive it's not something that's just like a freebie if that makes sense just to show this also works with weapons as well on the weaponsmithing side of things and you can see here when i mouse over it it's built in with constitution right so the runestone stopwatch in this case gives constitution i wonder if that is the same for the weapons it is and of course you need these uh infused armor fragments these you get by like salvaging legendaries basically and now you actually get indicated this on the screen when you do it so let me just salvage some legendaries and we'll try and spot one right so let me scroll up to my legendaries and i'm just going to start salvaging i'll do it a little bit slowly as we click it it's going to ask me yes every time but look there i got infused armor fragment so every time you salvage you get 50 umbral shards as well so you know it's a good deal but you at least now get notified of it which i think is pretty cool now at the arcana station this does also work but only with the weapons it seems and again it is constitution there's nothing at cooking that would make sense for it to use it with so you can't use it with cooking as far as i know but you can indeed use it with jewelry again constitution so that's it really it's sort of becoming easier to get a legendary when you craft the runestone stopwatch makes it so your odds are improved by like 50 percent you're going from a one in six to a one in three that's really good you get constitution so it's sort of like a timeless shard in a sense you still get to pick one perk your odds of getting legendary are better it's really good however it is also really quite expensive it's all your runestone for a day 500 as off 500 on bull shards that's pretty expensive a bit of me thinks that they might as well have made this so you guarantee gear score 600 because i think the timing for that might be right but it's at least nice to see they're doing something the problem is it's more gambling in a sense you're now going to go to all that effort to make it so you can craft these gear score 598 to 600 and then you're going to roll a non-legendary two out of three times and considering you're probably not going to be able to craft many of these unless you're mega rich it sort of feels like this again 
may just reward the rich, essentially. At least if they would have made it Gears Gold 600, everybody would have been sort of on the same page and you would have been just rolling for your perks. By the way, it looks like, as I said, the rolling for the perks is just better. You're going to get less jank and that's good. So yeah, thanks to Slender for actually demonstrating that a little bit better than I could. I don't have all the stuff in the PTR, but um, he obviously does, apart from the time buff. And even that, like, it's just difficult to get. So it's hard to properly show you. Again, I'll leave a link in the description below. So let me know your thoughts on this. It's sort of good. It's a nice to see the sort of making it a little bit easier but it sort of feels a little bit too complex to be of any kind of like massive value at least that's my opinion let me know your thoughts in the comments below like and subscribe have a most beautiful day goodbye